welcome to basics by b i'm bundle and this is my channel so today's video is a diy sewing tutorial and i make this very edgy tank top it is a basic tank top and it looks a little complicated it looks like there's a lot happening but it's actually pretty straightforward i used a sports bra to i traced the sports bra to make this and I mean everything else is pretty straightforward but i did learn quite a few things that i want to state before i get into the tutorial so firstly you may want to make sure that the fabric that you use is not see-through if your fabric is similar to this way it is kind of see-through but it's not too bad then i guess it's okay use fabric that is very stretchy if your fabric does not stretch this will not work or if you don't use stretchy fabric then you might need to add a zip or buttons and that in itself is a completely new project and it's not basic at all so i'm not even gonna try to do that but yeah make sure your fabric is stretchy so use scuba use ribbed um anything that's four-way two-way stretch but it needs to really stretch otherwise you will not get your head over this part use a zigzag stitch for the neck piece because this has to go over your head and if you're using a straight stitch you can't really stretch that so use a zigzag stitch by the neck piece but everything else you can keep as a straight stitch you may want to sew as straight as possible especially for all the hemming that you're going to do so if your hemming is not straight your straight stitch that is that happens here if it's not straight that's the first thing that is noticeable so just make sure that your hemming stitch is straight and then your top will look very professional and chic the project should take you about an hour an hour 15 um, at most so do take your time when you make it don't try and rush the project um it's quite when you watch the video you think okay 20 minutes you know i can do this in 20 minutes but do take your time it did take me a lot longer than um 20 minutes it took me about an hour to make it so take your time so that your top turns out looking professional and not like tacky so those are my key learnings really hope that you enjoy the tutorial i hope that you tag me in your posts if you decide to make the top and i mean if you are confused about something please do send me a dm on instagram i'm happy to answer any sewing questions or just comment down if you have any questions i hope you enjoyed the video and happy sewing need stretch fabric scissors pins sports bra and a piece of paper and a pen you're gonna need the back part of your sports bra for the front of your top so you want to just fold this in half hold on to here fold it in half okay once you folded it in half you, you might just want to pin it into place so that it's easier to trace out your pattern all right cool okay so once you have folded your back piece in half you may want to use a piece of paper to trace out your pattern so you take your piece of paper and you want to just trace out um, the back shape the the important bit here is just to get the shape of the top half you don't really need the bottom half if you have a bigger piece of paper this will be so much easier to to do but i'm just going to move this down slightly because i do need um, the top shape and that's what's important for this like that and then once it's there you may want to just increase that slightly because there's a bit of a bend here if this was a perfect bra, it would be straight like that. And then you want to just move down in a straight line to mimic the, the fold, the center of the bra. So that's more or less the shape you want. And then this side here is your center fold. Okay, okay, for the second front part, you need the shape of the front of your bra, but you only need like almost half of that. So 
just that sort of shape and to create that i um, just gonna fold my bra in half and then I just repeat the same process of tracing out the shape of the bra um, but I don't need the entire top I just need about half of the top so this is my center fold line this is my like the chest part that goes up to the shoulder let's stop here and then I wanted to move in that sort of shape so I think there would be a good place This is your center fold and then just cut it out and then try see if it looks good with your with this piece this is what my two front pieces look like I'm gonna need to cut um, one of these on my fabric and I'm, I'm gonna need to cut two of these I place this piece in line with this piece just to gauge how the top might look and then i can make any alterations before i cut my bottom piece so i actually want i actually want my my top so this bottom piece here the back piece to be more of a halter neck so to move up sorry like that okay and then this part here to also move up. Like that. Okay, so I want to just increase this, this area. Increase by one centimeter up so that it's there. Um, and then this this part here i need to also be in line with here so let's make that longer okay cool And I just need to add like a neck piece so that it looks more like a halter neck, polo neck sort of top. Um, and that's usually just a rectangle, but I need to measure my neck for that. For the neck piece that's going to go on the top here, um, I measured the circumference of my neck and that's 33 centimeters. Cut out a 33 centimeter um, rectangle. This is not to scale. My neck circumference is 33 centimeters and then i'm just going to add two centimeters um for seam allowance so 33 plus 2 is 35 centimeters and then the thickness of the thickness of the band be about four centimeters um wide so i would have to cut out eight centimeters and then we're going to fold that eight in half so this is going to be eight centimeters Okay, so what I've just done is fold my fabric um, to accommodate the size of my pattern. And this is along the fold of the fabric. And then this is also along the fold of the fabric. For the top, I want um, my tank top to be a little longer. So maybe I'll stop cutting around there. I'd rather have a longer tank top than a crop top. And in this piece, I don't need to increase in size because it only it only covers like the top part of the top. I actually want to make this part a little thinner um, because it's currently thick. And once I cut this and then I open it up, it's going to be about that wide. And I want it to be like a really like thin, flattering piece. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to follow the pink up until like there. And then I'm going to start going in more, um, but not too much, but let me do that. I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to cut out my fabric 
making my top a little longer and then this is also going to just stay as is um, I will not be adding any seam allowance I want my top to be as tight as possible and this fabric does stretch slightly it's important to know which way your fabric stretches because this is a ribbed um, fabric you'll note that the stretch is usually in the opposite direction of the lines so my stretch is this way to accommodate my body and my bust area you don't want your stretch to go down your top because there's nothing it's just not going to work second piece same thing add about a, a centimeter seam allowance for the neck part and for the sleeves and for the bottom here just one centimeter seam allowance all around Okay, for the neck piece, I need um, a four centi well, an eight by thirty-three centimeters, but I'm just gonna fold the fabric so that I can have a symmetrical neck piece. So essentially, it's now gonna be four centimeters if I fold it. So four centimeters wide and then thirty-three centimeters long. I'm sorry, it has to be thirty-five because I need to add seam allowance. So if I go thirty-five centimeters. By four centimeters so that's here okay I think I'm done gonna have a total of five pieces you need one front one back one neck piece that's gonna attach on this piece and then you need two of these as well because these are gonna attach um, together on the shoulder one front one back as well and then I've also just hemmed my pieces here I just folded the edge twice these um, smaller bits I folded all the sides so all the sides have been folded twice and then for the bigger ones i've only done where the like the sleeve holes or the curve lines are and then i'm not gonna hem the neck piece so don't don't hem at the top here don't hem here because you're gonna attach that neck piece once you're done so just hem here and then hem all of this here i'm gonna do a straight stitch on all my hemmed bits so I have done a straight stitch on each of the edges for both my front and my back pieces and then what I've done is also just pin down um, the pieces together so that I can attach this smaller piece to the bigger piece and then I'm actually going to do this simultaneously so I just need to put this over this other piece so good sides facing together okay, so i've just put my pieces together where i have good sides facing together so the two front pieces are um, facing together i am going to do um, a straight stitch here or i'm going to use my overlocker actually i'm just going to overlock the side here and overlock the side and then I also just need to attach these pieces at the top here. So I need to overlock here, overlock there, and then I'm going to also overlock this, this piece and then overlock this piece as well. Um, I'm going to use my overlocker because it's a lot easier to work with. So I have just attached all my pieces together by the shoulders, the neck piece, 
and then on each side of the top and then I just need to add this neck piece here um, over there on here so the first thing I'm going to do is just um, overlock here to close it and then I will be attaching it onto the rest of the top once that's just gonna close my neck piece and then I'll just attach it to here so I first need to flip it over flip like your so. top to good sides facing out so the normal good side and then you're going to attach the neck piece by um, making sure that the fold of the neck piece is facing down and then the open bit is facing up then you attach it in a circular like way so that you have your back um, seam in line with the back of the top and then the front wouldn't have a seam because there's only one seam and then what you're going to do is just do a overlocking stitch all the way around yeah and then once you're done that you may also want to just hem the bottom of the top um, I'm just going to fold it twice similar to what I did at the top here yeah, fold it twice and do a straight stitch Thank you.